Hi guys, I'm Lar. Missed me? I sure missed you. Today, I'm gonna be testing out all the hacks I missed out on during my little YouTube break. I've always been fascinated by hacks. What's true? What's fake? Will my candle actually bend? These are all questions we must find the answer to too. Okay, you ready? Let's get hacking. Hack number one. All right, so this girl has taken a whole bunch of gummies and she decided to submerge them in water. God knows why. But the final result is not regular gummies. She gets ginormous gummies, like literally the size of her hand gummies. And apparently they taste nasty. Before giving my gummies the baby shark treatment, I realized there's a lot of options for gummies. What will be better, giant gummy bears or giant cherries? Probably both. So yeah, we settled on that and I was really excited. We got cherry gummies. And we got cold bear gummies. This is probably my favorite hack because I get to have a snack. Mm, 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 mm. The gummies went in the water and pretty immediately we started to see results. So I'm just gonna put these in there. I can't see why this would be a good idea. It just looks like they're gonna taste real nasty. Like, yes, you're gonna get a bigger gummy, but at what cost? I guess we'll see. Ugh, there's some white stuff coming out of them. Look, what is that? This one down here looks pretty nasty. Like something's just coming out of it. Ugh, let me wash you up. That made it so much worse. So now for the gummy bears. Did you guys know the strawberry gummy bears are the green ones? I always thought it was the red ones. I was cheated my whole entire life. Let's just put a sample of them in there. Mm. Well, maybe I'll keep the red ones for myself. The green ones, I mean. We'll check back in 12 hours. I'll just be here eating gummies. So about three hours later, it was looking like this. And then 12 hours later, they all just decided to be really good friends and stick together till the very end. Ugh. I think I was a little bit too ambitious and put way too many into this tiny little bowl. Now it's just a big blob. So I tried it again, placing the cherries and the gummy worms the appropriate six foot distance. And finally, the results were in. Oh, they're so soft and huge. Look at that. It's the size of my hand. Oh, this gummy bear is so huge. Shall we venture into a bit of a taste test? Oh, oh that's nasty. No. <laughs> Mm -mm. That's a hell no. Hack number two. So for this next hack, I would call this a cleaning slime. So this guy just pours a bunch of solutions into his car cup holder, mixes them up, and they turn into this magical slime that he uses to clean the car. It looks so gooey and so perfect to pick up every little crumb. All of your late night drive through leftovers, your dog's hair, it'll be gone real fast. The problem with this is that he doesn't actually tell us what he's using, but we did some research and by that, I mean we read all 20 24,430 comments in this video. And we figured out that for this hack, we're gonna need some clear glue, pine sole, and slime activator. Ooh, I feel like I'm ready for fourth grade science class. So with this hack, we have the same problem where no measurements were given. Whatever shall we do? I will tell you what I'm not gonna do. I am not about to do this in my car and then have a whole liquidy mess that I probably cannot clean up. So I'm gonna try it out here first and see if it works. First up, it seems to be glue. I don't really know. He actually flipped it around where you couldn't see a tag on the bottle. Thanks, TikTok. I'm gonna say about this much. Yay. Now, pine soul, that we know. Ooh, that's a strong scent. Smells like Saturday morning. We know just about this much. A little bit of a mix. And then slime activator. The one I could find is actually a green apple scented. So I guess our cleaning slime is gonna smell delicious. Can I just do that? Is that unsafe? Probably not the best idea. And now we just pour. Let's see if this works. Ooh, cleaning slime come through. So this is our slime. There is some slime left over at the bottom. So I'm really happy I didn't do this in my car. But I feel like this is a good consistency to go clean with. Hmm, maybe not. Might be a little bit too sticky still. I'm just adding some more activator, make it less sticky. Oh yeah, that's better. This is definitely better. It's not as sticky, but it's still stuck to the bottom. Yeah, this bottom part is not coming out. F for that man's car. So since we had our cleaning slime, we decided to put it to the test on my car, which was pretty clean. So, <laughs> you know. So we conveniently have some crumbs from burritos food. Let's see if this picks it up without falling apart. I'm not sure that was a win. Hack number three. This is a DIY money surprise cake. So this girl takes a literal knife and cuts out 
a piece of cake. And to me, I'm just like, mm, what could you possibly put in a cake that's better than cake? But apparently money. So she just put in a box full of money into this cake and then she proceeds to cover it back up with a little piece of cake and some frosting and a candle. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Not suspicious at all. So you just know I love this hack because I get to do the only thing that's better than eating cake, buying cake. We had so many options, but eventually settled on this beauty. So here we have our delicious strawberry crunch cake and I'm gonna attempt to put a box inside. The only box I had was this one and you could put money in the box, but this is my engagement ring box and I figured I should just put my engagement ring. I think it would be a cute way to propose to someone with cake. Actually, that sounds like the best way to propose to someone. All right, so there we have my engagement ring. <laughs> kind of dusty, but I would still be very happy to receive this cake. Okay, so we pretty much got the perfect size. I just have to cut a square into the center of this cake. Oh God, if there's one thing I'm terrible at is cutting cakes. And now I've been tasked with cutting a perfect square with this person's engagement. I'm nervous. I'm just gonna make myself a little guide, little baby steps. I feel like it's better to have a bigger square than actually necessary, just in case you never know. All right, something kind of like that. And now let's cut into this. Ooh, what was that? I think this cake has cookies in it. Oh God, just when you thought things couldn't get any better. I'm just cutting through the cake and through the cookie. Oh, it's pink on the inside. Why didn't you propose like this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, it was going so well. It's really satisfying every time I hear a crunch. So what they do in the video is take one of these and literally just take the piece of cake out. Ugh. I feel like I'm performing surgery. I'm speechless. I can't believe I did that. Okay, I'm gonna put this ring in the perfect size. That's really satisfying. It just went in perfectly. So I just need a really thin slice of cake to cover it up. And now I have to kind of just eyeball how thick I have to make that. Wow, I thought I was out of the woods, but this just gets harder and harder. So I'm gonna cut this piece. I feel like I need about this much, I hope. Oh God, I think I might've made it too thin. That looks pretty rough. Like the edges don't look so good, but I'm just gonna put a candle over it to distract, you know, say your relationship is zero years old and hopefully she says yes. And then it'll be a hundred years old eventually. Isn't that romantic? 100 years of farting next to the same person. Living the dream. Hack number four. This is a hack on how to make your own lava lamp. So you add some vegetable oil. And let me just say, God bless Zoe for actually telling us the ingredients. Then she adds some water, some food coloring, and that already looks pretty cool right there. And then she proceeds to add this Alka-Seltzer and bam, lava lamp. This hack seemed pretty straightforward. So if you have a plastic tube, you're pretty much ready to go. We were gonna use this, but luckily we found a smaller container. Because if not, this will probably be the world's largest lava lamp. Okay, so I'm gonna take this vegetable oil. I'm not really sure how far I have to fill this up. Mm. I think about that much. I still need oil to cook all my meals. Some water. That looks so cool already. Come through lava lamp. It looks so lava-y. Okay, so right now the oil and the water are just doing its thing. Here comes some food dye. Oh, this is just, oh, that's so cool how it falls. It just turns to little drops. And look how it settles. Look, it kind of settles on the oil and then it falls into the water. She just got her period. That looks awesome. Oh, science class gone wrong. So maybe I put way too much. Oh, I think I ordered that. Let's make it into a lamp. <gasps> this looks good, but I put too much of, well, pretty much everything. We're gonna fix you up. You're gonna be the most beautiful of all the fake lava lamps. I also didn't really know how I should get rid of the lava lamp mix. Say a little prayer for my dream. I hope this doesn't destroy it. No, stop. The old lady in me was screaming not to do that. So I ended up pouring it in my failed attempt at a garden. So hack number four, version 2.0. Ooh, that looks cool. And the finished result was way more lava lampy and way less purity. I got it, I got it. So in this video, not only does this one man do this with some beer bottles, I think, he just opens it by tapping on it, but then this other guy actually tries this hack and then it also works for him. So in my mind, this was just a really simple hack that was of course gonna work, right? I was hoping Target would have some Mexican Coke, but all we could find was this cream soda. Hopefully this bottle will work. Pretty simple, just bang bottles together. 
I did that for a while to no result. But you know, life is full of surprises. Maybe I just don't have what it takes. I just noticed this says twist off, so I don't know if that- Oh! That twisted off pretty fast, pretty easily. Let me compare it to this. So that for sure helped this bottle because I just barely touched it and it twisted off like that. This one I have to like put in a little bit more work, get the twist to work. Huh. So my suspicion is that this hack did work. I just bought the wrong bottle. Hack number six. This hack was all over TikTok and they just dipped some candles in water and magically they're able to bend them up and turn them into real artsy candles. You can probably find those for $50 at Urban Outfitters. So we got our candles right here and I'm supposed to put them in water, but I have no idea if this is supposed to be warm water or cold water. These hacks don't give you detail. I'm leaning more towards warm water because that makes more sense if you want to bend this candle but also we only got two so only two shots to do this i'm pretty nervous these were kind of hard to find i went to target and they literally only had these two i was hoping we were gonna get some really cute colors some pastels but that was just not in the cards for us we get to be boring and beige and basic we have a water heating problem in our house this takes forever Ooh, it's getting warm now it's cold again nope nope Okay, that seems to be pretty good right now. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water. Does it need to be boiling? I don't really know. I'm just gonna try with one candle because I don't wanna mess this up. These were too hard to find and also a little bit of expensive. Mm. Bye wrapping. Wow, these do not wanna be submerged in water. This seems to be the easiest option. I give up. And there you go. Oh, she needs more water. We keep having this problem where it floats. I hope that's okay. But a piece of candle always seems to be left out of the water. Stay down. Nope. Once again, this hack to provide absolutely no clarity as to for how long this is supposed to stay in here. I'm gonna try to just bend it a little. Nope. That's pretty stiff still. I'm scared to break it. Ugh. My biggest fear was breaking this candle and also it taking forever to actually bend. I was hungry. So it's 1.55, time the candle went in the water. Let's see how long it takes. By 2.10, we got some action. It feels really, oh, nope, nope. <gasps> it's doing it. Oh, I'm so scared to break it. Oh. Just watch it snap in a second. So this part feels really soft, like I can move it, no problem. But this part, oh, oh, I feel like it's gonna break, but it's not, it's just moving. Wow, this feels kind of wrong, but also really satisfying at the same time. Look at this, a little snake candle. I'm not sure what shape I was supposed to give this or what will happen when I light it. Yep, a snake, she's like, I don't know why I made a horizontal candle, but I did. And lighting it wasn't my best moment. It's supposed to be vertical, but hey, it's art. She said, nope, we're burning this whole house down, no candle. I wonder if it's because it's kind of wet or because this lighter is kind of weird. Oh, 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 I saw a little spark. <gasps> it's on. I don't think this was very smart of me. Uh, Maybe there's a reason why candles don't have this shape. Oh no, my table. So maybe I'm not a professional candle maker. Can someone let me know if there's a better way to clean wax other than just scraping? All done. But yeah, I really enjoy doing some hacks. I feel like I've missed out on a lot, even though it hasn't really been that long. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.